Hey guys, it's Dickie from Still Moments Nursery, just about to do Emily's box packing for her trip home. So guys, little Emily here is all ready for her box packing. So she was a custom order made specially for her mum. And she is the uh, Eliza by Denise Pratt doll kit. And as you can see, she's um, a little open-eyed baby girl. And she's all dressed up in her white gross suit, so it's going to protect her um, during her trip home. And as you can see, she's a little open-eyed baby girl. And she's got um, brown hair and she's got little um, dark green eyes. Um, everything was chosen by her mum, so I hope she likes the way that she's turned out. Um, I think she's a real little sweetie. Like I said, she's going home in the grow suit, in the white grow suit. She's got a little singlet on um, underneath that. And then her other clothing package, or her other clothing that she's going with, is she's got another singlet. So just another plain white singlet for her mum. She's got a little long sleeve t-shirt, which has just got um, pretty chick girl um, and a little um, Eiffel Tower, um, I think that one is. So I thought that would look really, really cute on her. And she wanted the purple theme um, as well, so I hope she likes that one. I'm going to fold that up. And then we'll wrap it up. And she's also got just a little pair of plain white pants I thought would look really nice with the top. And they've got little elastic bottoms with just some little bows on the, on the bottoms, which I thought was really, really cute. So, little pair of pants. And she's also got this little purple one-piece outfit. So little purple flowers on it with the little green leaves, which I thought was really, really sweet. And then because she's got the three-quarter arms, she's going to need a little top to go underneath. So I've given her a little onesie so she can wear that on its own. Uh, or she could put this under the outfit. So she's got those outfit sets to be dressed up in, which is really good. We're going to wrap those up in, I've got two different pieces of paper. So one, just some little animals, and the others is just a little congratulations and some flowers on it. So I'm going to wrap up her clothing in the pretty flower one. Make sure everything's nice. I'll put a singlet on the top, like that. So there's all of her clothing. A little bit more sticky tape there. And then I'm going to wrap up the outside with a little bit of ribbon, which is going to make it all nice and pretty. So there we go. So there's one little package for her mum to open. Pop that over there. And then she's also going home with a little bib, which has got I'm not tired on it, which I thought was really, really cute. So I'm going to pop that in another little clothing package. And she's got some purple socks, so her mum can put those with all the different outfits. So I'm going to put those on top of the bib. And I'm going to wrap it up in the little animal print paper. She's also got a white cloth nappy, just a plain white one, so her mum can put those with all the different outfits and um, play with it as she likes. So I'm going to wrap that up with the bib and the socks. Okay, 
Okay, so there we go. There's her second outfit or second package of clothing, I should say. And again, some more pretty ribbon just around that. So there we go, clothing pack number two. And of course, she's got her mohair conditioner and her baby powder. So I'm gonna put the mohair conditioner in a little bag so it doesn't spill. Just like that. And then they're going to go in the box just as they are. So I don't need to wrap up those. She's also got a magnetic dummy and I've managed to get the casing to fit on this one because the magnet's in the middle. So she's going home with the casing as well. And it's a purple dummy like her mum requested. And I thought these were really nice. They've just got a little B in the middle, uh, which I thought was really nice and plain so she can put it with all the outfits. So I'm gonna wrap up the dummy in some white tissue paper. Just a little bit of sticky tape. And then so it doesn't get lost, just a little bit of ribbon as well. Let's we'll go around this way as well. Quite fiddly when they're small. There we go. So there's her dummy. And she's got a little purple brush as well to go in so her mum can keep her hair nice and styled and soft and silky. And for her blanket, I've chosen the ones with just the stars on it, which I thought would be really nice for her mum to display her on and wrap her up in. So we're gonna wrap her up in the blanket. So I need a little bit for her head, just like that. So I'm gonna put her in her blanket. She's a little heavy one, this one. And make sure her little head's front facing. I'll do up that little button there. There we go. So again, we're just gonna wrap up her little hands because we want those to stay nice and protected. So we can cover her little face when she's in the box. So nice and snugly. And then her feet, I'm just gonna tuck that up under like that. And again, just a bit of ribbon to hold the blanket. So there's little Emily all ready for her box. So I've got her box all lined with some nice white tissue paper. So we will grab her box and put her in and send her home. So guys, I've got Emily's box here already. So I'm gonna put her in her box and see how she fits. So we're gonna need this little bit of blanket to cover her face when she's in the box. So let's ha see how she goes. Put a little head down, just like that. And then because she's a slightly bigger girl, we might have to just play with her feet and just maneuver those down, just like that. So one on top of the other and then cover them with that blanket, just like that. So there she is. Now we're gonna cover her face to protect those gorgeous little eyes, just like that. And there we go. So there she is in the box. Now we'll put in all of her other goodies. So her two clothing packs 
and her little dummy that's all wrapped up. But first we're going to put in her mohair conditioner and her baby powder. So I think they can go down, the baby powder can go down on one side and her mohair conditioner in the other corner. And then her baby brush as well. I'm going to put that down. I'll put that down there. It fits nicely down there, which is good. Okay, and then we've got her dummy, which I'm going to put over her baby brush, which sits nicely. And then, of course, she's got her nappy. So I've given her mum two different types. So she's got the Winnie the Pooh and the Wiggle. So she can have a look, have a play of those um, as she likes. Now one's going to go over her little face like that and over her hands, her little feet and I'll pop the other one in her middle. So there she goes and then she's got both of her clothing. So again I'm just going to put one over her feet like that and then this one can sit nicely. over her little face. And then she's got a little card as well, which I'm gonna write a little message in there for her mum. So this one's just got a little pink flower on it. She's also got her care instructions and her certificate. So her certificate tells her mum uh, when she was finished um, the doll kit. So she's an Eliza by Denise Pratt. And of course I've signed it and dated it. And then her care instructions, which just tells her mum a little bit about how to care for the doll. So they're going to go into the envelope, just like that. And of course I've got to get her order details which will go in there as well. So that's going to go on the top like that. I've got to get um, a pen and write in her little card so she's going to get a little personal message from me and it can go under there. And of course just a couple of business cards uh, for her as well. And we'll put that in there. There you go guys, that's little Emily's box packing and how she's going to be presented to her mum. So as you can see it's a nice full box for her to unpack when she gets home. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the box packing and we will talk to you soon. Bye! Change number? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Can I go? Mm-hmm. Can I get my finger? Hey guys, it's Nikki from Snow Moments Nursery, just about to do Emily's box packing for her trip home. Yay! Alright? Yep. And she's got little brown eyes, I think. Has she got brown eyes? And I know she's got green eyes. Oh, sorry, green eyes. Which she can wear on its own, or she can pop it under um, this little outfit. So then she doesn't see this. Um, far out. I'm trying to rush, that's what. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so her mum can put under the. Can I just start again? <laughs> oh my god. So I've got her box all lined with some nice white tissue paper. So we will grab her box and put her in and send her home. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to change it up a bit. <laughs> okay, so that goes down there, that goes down there, and this comes over here. Yeah. So we've got oh, Emily's little box ready. Do you want me to start again? Because I was <laughs> ready for that. Her two clothing packs as well. And I'm going to have to pause because I forgot the nappies. Okay. And out of nowhere, we have nappies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching the box packing, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Cool. Yeah. And of course, I've got to get her wafer, little wafer smelly thing as well. Which is where? Over there. Oh. And her wafer, which I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
far as count? No? <laughs> <laughs> the queen? Mum will laugh at that one. Oh, do you know what we could do? We could do this. The closing of Storm's Nursery ends with a spinning thing. <laughs> Grace here is a lovable doll kit by Marita Winters and she's one of my all-time favourites and she's just adorable. Um, she is a smiling baby as you can see so she's really happy and her mum actually chose her to be a Hispanic baby so as you can see her colouring is nice and Hispanic and it's got a nice tone to it and she's obviously chosen black hair so she's got some nice fine black hair there that her mum can style and uh, play with as she likes. She's also got Wanted, so she's chosen the large one. As you can see, it's got a little belly button, which is just adorable. And I've painted it in the same skin tone um, as little Bella. So she can just tie that around the cloth body using the ties that I've attached.